Okay, hi again, welcome to Nomad Sea Kayaking's YouTube channel. Um, today we're reviewing another product and it's the um, Armadillo base layer. So really what we want to talk about is base layers, um, but in particular the Armadillo base layer. Now before I do this review, just to remind you again, we don't get paid for this, we don't get sponsored, we don't get any free gear. We pay for this stuff, okay? Um, but the objective here is to help you buy good gear number one and number two the right gear so uh, let's talk about the stuff it's pretty basic this is armadillo this is a British company that is their logo I hope you can see it so that's their logo there um, and on their clothing they have that sort of logo there kind of a purple color um, okay it's a British made it's a British company um, and they make these products in Lithuania and in Fiji of all places Fiji That's where they get made physically made, but they are designed in this country now They are designed. This is a very high spec product. Uh, they are designed for what I would call operators professionals so um, professional firefighters uh, emergency services soldiers uh, professional outdoor people guides uh, whether you sea kayaker, you're a climber, a mountaineer, an alpinist, a skier, anything like that, this stuff is, um, that's what this is designed for. Features and benefits, as usual, we go through the features and then run through the benefits. Really, what you see is what you get. This is 100% merino, so it's not 60% merino and a little bit of wool thrown in, or, you know, 60, 50, 60% wool and a bit of polyester. This is 100% uh, merino. And the beauty of merino over other wool, firstly wool is the way to go when it comes to base layers. Uh, and the reason for that is because it's very warm and it's warm when wet. So if you sweat a lot like I do, this stuff will still keep you wet. Um, the other beauty of, of merino is that it's very light and very thermally efficient for its weight. So its weight to thermal ratio is very high, if that makes sense. Okay, so for the weight of the product and the size of the product it's very very warm compared to other products so 100% merino these are the the, the long johns um, or the, the long johnnies as they are on the website the website by the way is uh, armadillo merino.com um, and they are long and they are close fitting now these are large okay um, I am six foot um, 97 98 kilos depending what time of year it is and I'm quite chunky more to the point I've got quite a chunky backside and I have fairly reasonably muscular legs particularly in the center of my legs down here between my thighs um, and so these are quite a close fit but they're comfortable what I would recommend is um, go usually a little bit bigger because you don't want them too close fitting you want a little bit of space because the whole idea of this is to build up a, a layer of warm air between the material and your skin because that's what insulates you so a little bit of space is good you don't want a too tight fitting but they are designed to be fairly body hugging okay um, the previous pair I had I've had two pairs of the long johnnies and they had a P flap in the in the front for the guys this one doesn't have that okay it's not a big deal but it's quite handy to have if it's got a P flap um, other than that there are no labels on it so you don't have you know bits of label that can scratch you um, and all of the seams are nice and flat so um, the idea of this that there's no point where you can get rash or you can get scratched or, or marked or anything like that again keeping in mind that these are for people outdoor professional outdoor people operators um, soldiers guides that sort of thing so we you know when you're wearing this under a dry suit and you're paddling all day long out at sea the last thing you want to be doing is or that you can't get out of your kayak and just unzip and adjust things you're stuck in your kayak so um, feet, those are the, the basic features benefits real simple it's warm 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 um, and if you need to sweat you can sweat in this and you still stay warm you can also wear it on multi-day events so I'm reviewing this on the basis of having used this on long distance treks so up to six seven days out wearing these all day long and then sleeping them in sleeping in these in the evening okay so you know with just basic washing basic hygiene and then straight back into the sleeping bag okay and on that basis they were fantastic they don't smell um, they're very very warm and they're very very comfortable okay so highly recommended 
the top is the same thing. You get short sleeve and long sleeve versions. They're nothing to look at. They're not pretty. Okay, they're not meant to be pretty. And by the way, there's sort of five, six, seven of these different colors from olives to sand to beige to black, green, all sorts of different colors. This is dark olive. Okay, long sleeve again. Um, you do get a sort of crew neck, a higher neck with a zip type as well. But this is just the, the plain um, top. And there's the Armadillo logo. Again, 100% merino. Um, excellent product, okay. I wore this stuff for six days. I'm wearing it again in February in the Arctic with, uh, earlier this year. Late summer, wore, wore it in the Arctic and walked in it for six days, flat out, and it performed brilliantly. However, one little downside of it, when I originally bought these about two years ago, I noticed that they are very, very thin. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I'm going to sh try and show you, but you can see through. This is the back side, and you can see through. Hopefully, you can see there, but you can see through the, the trees at the, at the background there. And what I'm trying to demonstrate is that they are, maybe you're going to have to take my word for it, they are very, very thin at the back. Well, they are very thin all the way through. Now, that's not a problem on the legs and the front, but around the back side and around through your groin area, where your legs rub, my legs rub together, they wear through. And on the six-day event, they wore through. Okay, and I had a big sort of gash through all the way down and they just kind of pulled apart. I still wore them and they still did the job, but obviously that's not ideal. Having said that, Armadillo service is fantastic. It's second to none. I've dealt with two, two chaps there, Hamish and Andy. Majority of the service has been from Andy, Andrew, and it's, it, there's no question. If you ring him up or you send him an email and say, I've got a problem, he just says, send it back. And as a matter of fact, on both I sent back two pairs, both with the same problem. On both occasions, he sent out the new pair before I and I'd received it the very next day after I'd made my my raised the problem. Uh, I hadn't even sent this back to him when I received the new one, and there's just no questions about it, right? They are aware of the problem, and they are dealing with it. So it's a design issue. They're looking for a reinforcement material to go in that groin area, and they're working with uh, they they're working with the design team. And then hopefully they're going to be producing this out in Lithuania or Fiji, wherever these are produced, uh, to solve the problem. But if you buy a pair and they go wrong for you, don't fret. They will replace them. And there's no question asked, okay? So, in short, the Armadillo Merino base layer, you can get these in shorts, longs, short sleeve, long sleeve, crew neck, zip, unzip, the, the works. Male and female. And by the way, this is the Kojak beanie that I've got. I've used this now for the past five years and I use this for my kayaking as a guide. It's very small, it's very lightweight and it's designed flat to be able to go underneath a helmet. So if you're a soldier and you or if you're in the rescue service, the uh, emergency services, a fireman, anywhere, uh, RNLI, lifeboat people, volunteers, anything like that, climbing, mountaineers, guides, wearing a helmet, sea kayakers, you're wearing a helmet, this goes under a helmet. I love this because it's so small and so light, it just rolls up and you tuck it into your pocket. But it's very, very efficient thermally, okay? So all of these products, highly, highly recommended. Armadillo, brilliant. And, you know, um, their products are good, but their service is just fantastic. British companies are not always known for their great customer service. These guys, they want to produce good products and they want to sell lots of good product, okay? So, um, their service is second to none, and so I recommend the stuff, okay? Frankly, if you get a bad service from them, come back to us, Nomad Sea Kayaking, contact us through YouTube, and we'll get on the case for you, because we're putting our name, business name, and I'm putting my name and my reputation as a professional guide behind the stuff. So if they don't hold up, if the product doesn't hold up for you, or the company doesn't hold up for you, Armadillo, come back to us, to the company, Nomad Sea Kayaking, and come back to me, and I will um, I will deal with it for you, okay? I will get onto, onto the case for you. So, Armadillo, Merino base layers, fantastic, highly recommended. Um, but just one little caveat, I haven't used these sea kayaking, so I will usually wear base layers. I have loads of base layers that I've used over many, many years, and I use them underneath my dry suit. I haven't used these under my dry suit, but I will be using these under my dry suit. Another pair which I'm going to purchase from uh, Armadillo. 
and I will then review them from a sea kayaking perspective. That means getting in the water, rolling, getting wet, swimming, getting back in the kayak in cold winter conditions and we'll see how this stuff performs and we'll be doing another review. We will also be doing, uh, in the new year, 2019, we'll be doing the ladies review on the same stuff, but the ladies version, okay? And one of my colleagues will be doing that review. She's a very nice looking lady, so you want to look out for that video, okay? So any questions, please uh, get a hold of us. We'll put you in the right, um, we'll, we'll put you right and we'll answer the questions for you. And please guys, we've had some very positive comments, so thank you very much, but always put a thumbs up. I know when I'm on YouTube, I see some great videos and I think, oh, that was fantastic. And I put a comment and I don't put a thumbs up. So please, thumbs up, just mark it, thumbs up. That'll be really good, okay? And if it's shit, thumbs down, so either way, okay? Thank you for watching, no matter.